Avanil Kumar, and now let us discuss this major question in the quiz, 2015 rate of change. This is an eight mark question and I'll discuss with you the points so that we could get full eight marks without losing any mark, right? I will not do the calculations as I have not been doing in most of the questions here. It's all up to you to do the details, but I'll give you the steps. The question here is, draw the graph of function f of x equals to half x square minus x plus 1 on the graph where x equals to minus 3. Draw a tangent line, then find the equation of that line. So I'd like you to pause this video and on a graph sketch the graph of half x square minus x plus 1 and then at x equals to minus 3 you need to draw a tangent line and find its equation. So that is the question. How should we go about? Now you could draw this parabola using table of values but a preferred method is that convert this into vertex form. So we are given equation as half x square minus x plus 1. Let us first convert this to vertex form. So we'll take half common. So we get x square minus 2x plus 1. That is the method of completing the squares, right? So we have x, half of this is 1, right? So we have minus 2x. Add and subtract half of this square, which is 1 square minus 1 square plus 1. This could be written as half of let me use square brackets. First three terms will make a perfect square which is x minus 1 whole square, right? We have minus 1 there plus 1 and that gives you half of x minus 1 whole square minus half plus 1 and that is, let me write here, half of x minus 1 whole square plus half. So that is the parabola in vertex form. So now you can sketch this parabola. The vertex is at 1 half. So at 1 half of this. So what we will let us say that is your point. Vertex, right? Now it is opening upwards. And the steps are what? So, so we have the vertex here. Now we are trying to sketch the parabola. So we have vertex, which is at one half, right? These are the points. And the steps are, so normally the steps are one, three, five, seven, so on. In this case, since the value of a is half, we'll multiply this by half, right? You can always make table of values and sketch it. That is, that is clear, right? So, so we'll do half is the first step, correct? And then second step is one and a half. So second step is one and a half. Third will be two and a half from here. That means half and one, two, kind of like this, right? So that is how we can move on both the sides. So we have, this is a y-intercept. So the first step is half. The second is one and a half, so 1.5. The third is two and a half. So half and one, two. So like this. So you have your parabola. So we should go till at least minus three, right? So seven half is 3.5. So we'll go here one, two, three point five. So that is at seven. So we go here half. Uh, we are at, uh, okay. So 3.5 is the next step. So half let's go one two three point five so that is the next step so three point five we'll draw connecting these lines our parabola so which is kind of like this so we have drawn the parabola with the help of steps and vertex now what we need to do is draw a tangent line at minus 3. Correct? So it's a good idea to calculate the exact value of 
the function at minus 3. So what is the value of the function? So we say f of minus 3 is equal to half of minus 3 squared minus of minus 3 plus 1, right? Which is half of 9, which is 4.5, correct? Plus 3 plus 1, and that is 8. 5. So 8.5 is our point here, right? 8.5. So this point is at 8.5. So let me write down. So let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.5. That is correct. So 8 is here for us and that is 9. So this point is 8.5. So we got exactly the same point. Now to draw the tangent line, what we need to do is we can do it graphically, take a scale and try to draw a tangent line from here. But since it is very approximate, right, it's a good idea to calculate the slope using centered value or any of those formulas which you have done, right? I'll prefer that rather than approximately sketching a line here. Okay, so what I prefer here is find instantaneous rate of change at x equals to minus 3 and you could use centered value that is to say you can find the value of the function at minus 2.999 take away f of 3.001 divided by 2. Point minus 2.999 take away it should be minus minus 3.001 right so once you do that right use calculator you can use any one of the formulas this is better to use correct use any of your formulas with this and then you'll find that the rate of change at minus 3 is minus 4 correct so once you get this rate of change of the tangent line then you sketch your tangent line rather than First, sketching the tangent line and approximately writing your answer. Since we are working on rate of change, I think that is a better strategy. If you don't do that, then this, which is an 8 mark question for you, you may lose quite a few marks, right? So, now let us try to draw the tangent for this function, right? So, we say slope is minus 4. It means what? It really means we are at 8.5. So, for every unit to the right will move four units down correct so from let us say we'll use one so 8.5 minus 4 is 4.5 so we'll one two three four point five so 4.5 will be the next unit do you see that so we can join this and then again four down will bring us to 0.5 here right and then from here that means this place, correct? And then 4 down will bring us to 3.5, 1, 2, 3.5. And a line joining these points will give us the tangent at that point. So that means we get fairly accurate tangent for the given graph. Do you see that? So that becomes the tangent. And as you see, this y-intercept will be minus 3.5. And since you know that the y-intercept is minus 3.5 and slope of the tangent m is equals to minus 4, you can write down the equation of tangent, right? So the equation of the tangent is y equals to minus 4x minus 3.5. So that becomes your answer for the tangent, right? So I will suggest that find instantaneous rate of change Using the slope, which is minus 4 in this case, draw your tangent line. So once you get your line, then write down the equation. That is a preferred way, right? 